Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing season 15's reveal looks. I'm not gonna be doing the Meet the Queens looks, just cause too many outfits to talk about. So I just thought I would do the reveal looks and these queens killed it. So please leave a like and comment if you want me to review this season. I love Amethyst's look, the colors and the body that she shows. The boots are everything. I don't like the wig. I like pigtails, don't get me wrong, but the middle part of the wig just seems a little flat. Anitra killed the reveal look, and I believe she also made this look. Could be wrong, but this blue with the silver blue mesh she killed this look. She's living her best life. She has a very clean silhouette. I love the shade of green that she chose. And the mug is there. She has beautiful makeup. But I really don't like the way the chap fits but that's just my opinion. And she's kind of given Robin Hood. Am I the only one that sees that? I love Irene's hair and makeup. They look gorgeous, even the nails. The top half portion of the outfit is amazing with the butterfly sitting on it. But then you go down to the pants. And I don't hate pants and drag. I just hate when they don't look beautiful or like fitted right. They don't look good. And they don't look, they don't look like they were made for her. Jack seems like a really nice queen. And I love the wig, the wig, and she's giving a lot of energy, which is what you need in the reveal. But I hate this outfit. Like I do not like, anything about it like I like the wig and the makeup and even the top kind of goes with the wig but I don't love the top and everything else can go <laughs> Lucy Laduca as much as I love her backstory about being a construction worker during the day and a drag queen by night I hate the fabric choices that she chose. It's just very generic drag queen, rainbow print, sparkly, nothing exciting to me. Lux looks so cute in this look. This teddy bear, gummy bear fantasy. The shade of blue looks so good on her skin tone. The makeup is so adorable. She had fun doing this look. She had a character, she sold it. I don't think very many people could pull off just wearing this cute little skirt and crop top with it for the reveal look, but she made it work. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Now that is a freaking pageant name. I love the colors of this outfit, and I see the vision, don't really like the execution. I think they needed to work on the corset a bit more, like maybe have a more defined breastplate, or I don't know. They just, it looks kind of flat up top. I know none of the Brady Bunch dress like this, but this just gives, I think it's because her name's Marsha. It's probably just because her name's Marsha. But this is very hippie, high schooler. It's cute. It's nothing new, I would say, but she is gorgeous. And the backpack. I mean, look at the fucking Daisy backpack. Mistress Isabel Brooks. Now that's also a pageant name. Uh, I love this color combination of the blue, green, yellow. She looks stunning. She's feeling herself in this look, and that's what a drag look should make you feel like. It should make you feel great. I love the shoe choice. One's yellow and one's green. Now that is everything. 
Princess Poppy looked amazing coming out. She had rhinestones from head to toe. She looked very ethereal, very pastel. She even came down to the middle of the runway and had a little reveal. The makeup is gorgeous. Look at that wig. Robin Fierce. She looks stunning. Her makeup is amazing. The streetwear is great. I just, there's one thing that I can't stand about the wig. She has a zigzag part in the front and then when she turns around in the back, it's straight down in the middle. And that just bothers me. And I'm sorry, I have OCD like that. Selena S. Titties is probably one of my favorite drag names to say. She has a mesh top on where you can see her titties underneath. And I guess you'd call it a cardigan, the blue and purple top with a skirt. I love it, the color combination. And she just brings all the energy you want from a drag queen. And I can't wait to see her on Drag Race. She's gonna have great banter, I feel. Sasha Colby is a legend in the drag community. It's about time she got on Drag Race. And this look, it might not be the most extravagant or flashy, but it fits right, the colors are right, and she looks right. So you can't, you can't knock her for that. Spice always tends to do edgy punk looks, and this is no exception. She has a Bratz aesthetic, and so does her twin sister. As you would expect, Sugar has a much more softer aesthetic than Spice. This look is very soft and sweet. She is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. The wig looks amazing. I love the pink accents in the yellow dress. It's really something beautiful. I've watched Sugar and Spice's TikToks for about a year and a half now, and I think they can make it pretty far in the competition. I just have to wait and see. <laughs> Start your engines, Hanny. RuPaul's Drag Race is now on MTV. It's time to celebrate. So meet my super sweet 16 new queens who are revving up the competition like never before. Sorry this is such a short video, but please leave a comment and like the video if you would like me to review season 15 down below.